Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another episode of things that are absolutely ridiculous and shouldn't be happening at all. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another fairly substantial, you could say, improvement to Yuzu Emulator and Super Mario Odyssey. Now, these changes, they don't just affect Super Mario Odyssey. There are tons of games that are affected. Two noteworthy games that uh, I would have off the top of my head would be I Am Setsuna and ARMS also has seen a significant performance increase using the latest Canary 966 as of making this video. So all we need to do is wait until we boot into our in-game continue screen and you can see that they have massively improved the rendering of graphics in this menu even though you can see that it's still not perfect it's still so much better than we were previously seeing now if you thought that that's where it ended and that's all that they had changed in this latest canary build you haven't seen anything yet so let's just boot into our old faithful sand kingdom save i like to use this save because it lets me show relative performance from build to build so if anyone saw my video from yesterday you would have seen that in sand kingdom even though i had sped up the footage to make it watchable you would have seen that the performance ranged from about 10 to 15 or 16 frames per second now as you can see we're in game night right now but we're going to have to just wait for performance to stabilize just a small bit due to some of these new changes that they have implemented okay so we have now it's kind of stabilized a little bit but we're going to have to actually move around in order to get it to actually stabilize a little bit more so let's just move our camera and just move mario around now you can see that they have actually fixed quite a lot of the lighting effects you can see that lots of the sand and stuff that was previously not rendered is now being rendered so let's just jump around for a few seconds and we need to wait for this to stabilize a little bit and you should see that there we go another holy shit moment we are now getting between 25 and 45 frames per second at any given time in super mario odyssey in gameplay in sand kingdom where there is a hell of a lot of stuff being rendered now i know when we're looking out here towards this desert and all of these dunes and the edge of the map it's not there's not a terrible amount being rendered but we're still getting between 36 and 45 fps when looking out there the impressive thing is that when we jump along the exact same path that we covered in our previous few videos we are still getting in and around 25 to 30 frames per second in gameplay so in the space of about eight days we've gone from rendering nothing to rendering something with three to four to six fps to rendering the exact same thing but getting a three times performance boost up to around eight to 12 frames per second up to what you're seeing right now of the game running between 20 and 45 frames per second so as i've said countless times across all my previous videos covering yuzu emulator if these kind of development changes and this kind of speed of work isn't enough to encourage you to support them over on their patreon to help with the development of this emulator then i really don't know what will so I also have it on fairly good authority that maybe even later today there's going to be another update to this emulator that is meant to substantially boost visual fidelity and performance in lots of 2D and 3D titles. So as usual when an update like that is going to get released I'm going to cover it in a video and you guys are going to be kept as up to date as possible on all the goings on and development news for this Nintendo Switch emulator. So if you also haven't done so, you should head on over to Twitter and follow me there. You'll find a link for my Twitter profile in the description of this video. Over there, I generally post game compatibility related stuff and little smaller updates that otherwise wouldn't warrant making a video on them. So once again, guys, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.